My student murdered me. Hello, I am Colin Ritzer, forever 24 years old and this is my story. I was a popular teacher at Danvers High School, about 25 miles north of Boston, doing my dream job, teaching math. Philip Chisholm, 14 years of age at the time was new to the school as he had recently moved to Massachusetts. On October 22, 2013, I asked him to stay after school and tried to engage Chisholm and talk about how his new community compared with his old town of Clarksville, Tennessee. Chisholm became visibly upset so I eventually changed the subject. A short time later, I left the classroom and made my way to the bathroom. In a surveillance video seconds later, Chisholm is seen poking his head out of my classroom and looking down the hall. He then goes back into the classroom, but comes right back out with his hood on. Chisholm then puts on a pair of gloves as he walks into the women's bathroom where he strangled me, stabbed me at least 16 times in the neck with a box cutter and then proceeded to rape me. He also stole my credit card and my underwear. He then walks out of the bathroom carrying the black pants I was wearing. He disposed of my body in a trash can and took it to a wooden area where he committed the second rape with a tree branch and then delivered the fatal stab wounds to my neck. A branch had to be pulled from my vagina, and a folded handwritten note lay nearby worded, I hate you all. When police caught him the following morning, Chisholm had not washed his hands and still had my blood all over them. Philip Chisholm was arrested and was found guilty on February 26, 2016. During the trial, his lawyer admitted Chisholm killed me, but said he was suffering from severe mental illness and was not criminally responsible for his actions. A psychiatrist who testified for the defense said Chisholm was hearing voices and in the throes of a psychotic episode when he killed me. Chisholm was tried as an adult. He was sentenced to serve at least 40 years in prison on the first-degree murder charge. As a juvenile, he cannot receive a life sentence without parole following decisions by the U.S. Supreme Court and the Supreme Judicial Court of Massachusetts. Adults convicted of first-degree murder in Massachusetts automatically receive life without parole.